this is Bragan's Adventures. All right, guys, today we are checking out the Link Promenade in Las Vegas. Now, we've been here before, but we wanted to put a video together for you where we actually, like, went into places. We've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where they walk through and talk about the places, but we wanted to try absolutely as many as we possibly could for you. So we're going to hit as many as we can today, and we're going to take you along with us. Our very first stop coming up, at, as you're approaching from the Strip, we're going to hit... Uh, uh, a stop here on the left that's kind of sort of inside the casino uh, and it's called Buddy's Jersey Eats. It's a little hot dog place. Um, it, it's designed to be like a food truck. I don't know if that's an actual truck. It doesn't look like it. But anyway, and we got their their Jersey original, the OG um, and their deep fat fried hot dogs, which are amazing. You're going to get my full review of this hot dog, though, in my upcoming part two uh, Vegas dog review video. So stay tuned for that. But I'll, I'll give you a little hint. This one was pretty tasty. You'll have to wait to find out where it ranks with the rest of the hot dogs, though. And then we're gonna we're gonna head out and just walk walk a little bit. We'll hit that uh, over here on the left here. You see sweets, and we're gonna hit that later in the night uh, as like a like a nightcap, like a end of the night dessert kind of thing. Link Promenade is actually pretty long. It goes very far back from the strip, all the way to the road uh, behind the strip. Uh, <laughs> so it's a full block long. Lots of things to do there. Shopping, dining, drinking, entertainment, tons of stuff to do. It's a great day, uh, half day. Let's call it a half day. You can probably spend four to six hours here um, and not get bored, but get very full. Or very drunk, depending on uh, what your style is. Speaking of drunk, though, I think we're going to head to our next stop coming up here, which is called American. Um, and I, I'm not I'm not over enunciating that on accident. American. Um, emphasis on the can. Uh, it's a little beer bar, uh, but they also do cocktails. And you're going to get to see what we enjoy inside coming up here. So we came into American. Now, the, the theme here is that they have different beers from every state in the nation. And then they have these stately cocktails. And you know we love ourselves a good cocktail. So we each grab one. Uh, uh, you want to start or you want me to? I'll start. All right, go. All right, so I got the horse feather um, from Kansas. It's Jim Beam, ginger beer, simple syrup, and mint. So it's kind of going to be like a, a, like a mo mule mojito, like a, a mo mule toe, mule hito. We call it the horse feather. Yeah. All right, let's try this. You gay? Man, this is good. Minty goodness? So I want to do this at home now. I mean, it's Jim Beam, ginger beer, simple serve of mint. So simple. We have all this. It's so refreshing. Um, the ginger beer is not too overpowering. Um, it's a good balance of flavors. Uh, I would definitely recommend this one. Nice. I went with something called the Grizzly Bear, and it's from Wyoming, and it's got bullet bourbon, lemon juice, amaretto, and a splash of orange juice. He's at the right here. This simple play right there. JC Jackson off coverage. Okay, so we know I'm a whiskey purist. I would have drank the bullet just by itself, right? This is really good. It's not over orange. There's just that hint of orange and then that nuttiness from the amaretto, which is kind of mellowing that bourbon burnt out. But I can still taste bourbon, and that's what I like in a cocktail. I'm the kind of person that wants to taste booze. It's not over anything. It's just this perfect little melody on my tongue. Mm. And because we're in Vegas and these are acrylic, we can go walk around. Oh, by the way, 17 bucks, we get to keep these. It's pretty big, right? 15 ounces, 17 bucks. We get to keep it and go walk around with it. Yep. Let's go. Cheers. All right, guys, let's go to our next spot, which is going to be not Flower and Barley, the restaurant, but their little like side door or side window called pizza by the slice uh it is flour and barley pizza but you're not going in to the restaurant this is strictly a grab and go type window 
Uh, now, uh, we went for this particular bite with this delicious looking jalapeno and pepperoni uh, piece. We did redistribute the uh, jalapenos around the pizza a little bit. Uh, you're going to get my full review on this slice in upcoming part two for pizza slice review uh, video that will be coming out here pretty shortly. Uh, so you'll have to stay tuned for that to find out where it ranks. And then uh, after our lovely slice of pizza, we headed just down the road to a place called Jabberitos. Uh, it's a sushi burrito joint. Um, it, I, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's sushi like a burrito. Uh, you know what? I'll let myself tell you all about it. All right, guys, we're inside Jaw Burritos here at the Link Promenade. We've never, we love sushi. We've never done a sushi burrito, and that's what they're known for here. So what we're doing is the rock port. And what this is, it's got soft shell crab, spicy tuna, and surimi crab, chipotle mayo and eel sauce, jalapeno, masago, which is the little fishy eggs there, cucumber, red onion, and wonton strips in a seaweed wrapper. Super stuff. Let's dive in. So the chipotle mayo is coming in a little bit late, but it's super tasty. The winner here though, outside of the fresh fish, those little wonton strips are giving you that little crunch. I don't know if I can go back to regular sushi after this handheld yumminess that we have here. This is pretty good, you should come check it out. $17 for this roll uh, burrito, but it's huge. We're splitting it. And I will say the water's overpriced at $5 for this little bottle, but they do also have beer and a really yummy uh, sake sangria. Head over to Jaw Burritos. It's at the back end of the uh, Link Promenade. All right, guys, we are gonna head back all the way to the very back of the Link Promenade now. We're gonna head towards the high roller, which is the giant Ferris wheel. We didn't actually do it this trip, but I have footage from the last time we did it that I'm gonna throw in for you because I definitely think it's worth checking out. All right, we're inside. We got a private car, it looks like. Yippee! Air conditioning here feels pretty nice. And it's a half hour ride around. What was this, 30? If we, if we, we got a group on. If you don't do a group on, it's 30 bucks. Uh, but it's just a little pod. There's some screens. I think the guy's saying some facts up on top. Um, and uh, we have cocktails, so we're having a great time. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know if it's uh, worth it when we're done. All right, guys, uh, we just got off the uh, high roller, Alyssa. What do you think? That was so much fun. Worth it every penny. Definitely worth it, especially there was the group on. It took a few dollars off. I think I would have paid full price though too. I would have too. Um, that, a that's, lot of fun. It's I a rare activity where I'm like, no, yeah, I would have paid for that. Yeah, I want to go again at night. Yes, for sure, for sure. All right, guys, we closed our night out at Sweet Sam. We grabbed a few desserts. I found a group on on there uh, for them and we used it and it was delicious. We also ran into I Love Sugar, which is like the hugest candy store I've ever been in. If you dig uh, sweet beverages, they've got a chocolate bar upstairs you can definitely check out. But head in here for all of your candy needs. Literally, guys, it's huge and every possible candy you can think of exists in this building. Absolutely amazing. Check it out for sure. All right, guys, there you have it. That's our trip to the Link Promenade. There's plenty more to do that we didn't end up being able to film because, uh, I mean, we got full, guys. <laughs> but anyway, it's a super cool place to hang out. Um, definitely wear your sunscreen because there are a lot of parts that are not shaded. And bring your appetite and your thirst to be quenched. Lots of good food, lots of good drinks, uh, good vibes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Bye.